All right, Gator fans, just wanted to pop on real quick and talk about the spring game. A few of you have sent me some messages on social media wanting to know what my thoughts are. And I know at this point, you've probably read um, a lot of articles and stuff on the internet about the spring game, but I wanted you to hear it from me as well. Um, okay, first and foremost, honestly, was not expecting the buzz that was in Gainesville when I got there. It kind of felt similar to a real game as opposed to a spring game. And, you know, judging by what all of you guys tell me on social media on such a regular basis, I didn't expect as much hype as there was. I think there was just an energy that was out there. We got to Gainesville. The first thing I did with my husband and my kids is we went to the Johnny Townsend Foundation tent. Um, tons of other former players were there. Got to see a bunch of guys that my husband played with, some guys that played with my dad, um, lots of guys in between those two generations as well. Um, really, really cool event. Raises money for pediatric cancer, uh, Shands Hospital, and the turnout was phenomenal. I saw many of you guys there. It was really cool for you guys to come up and talk to me and tell me about watching the show. I cannot tell you how excited that makes me when you guys come and introduce yourself. It was so fun. Then we moved on to the spring game and guys, it was a great crowd. I think the announced attendance was about 48,000. I think it looked every bit of that. Um, the stands were full. The energy was there. People were really into what they were watching. It felt very much more like a real game than I feel like most spring games feel like. Um, we've even had spring games in the past where coaches have stopped and had us redo a play, you know, multiple times because it is a learning experience for these younger players. But that didn't happen on Saturday. Both teams were very much into it like it was a game. Both sides seemed incredibly hyped, incredibly comp competitive. I don't know if you guys could see, uh, you know, on TV or maybe you saw if you were there in person, but players were getting pissed at calls, if plays weren't working, at each other. I saw some coaches really laying into players if mistakes were made. All of those things are huge positives for me. Both sides genuinely wanted to win and cared about the outcome, which is definitely not something we've seen in a spring game for a really long time. Both the teams did seem pretty even, as obviously evidenced by the score. And, you know, talking about players that really stand out, Graham Mertz looks like he is very much in control of this offense. I thought he looked good. I thought it was neat. They gave him a couple opportunities to really air it out. Uh, DJ Lagway, y'all. This is a guy who should still be in high school, right? Getting ready to go to his prom at Willis High School. But here he is in Gainesville looking like a grown man. And when he took off, he can move. It was really exciting to kind of get a glimpse into the future there. But honestly, both quarterbacks looked really good. I personally was very impressed with Jaden Baugh. I know um, many of you were too. He is a beast. And honestly, I think it's going to be difficult to keep him off the field. He had 12 carries and 77 yards. I just, ETN who? Florida has a running back stable. And I am excited to see what these guys put on the field because I was incredibly impressed. I think Florida's offense, as long as the offensive line takes the step forward that we are hoping that they will take, is really going to put up some points. Now, it was hard to fully judge where the offensive line is developmentally because the quarterbacks couldn't be touched. So, you know, it's hard when, when it's not full game speed in that aspect to really know where the offensive line is developmentally. But all of the things I've heard out of practice are really positive. Um, I, I think that we thought that was going to be a major position of need in the transfer portal. I don't believe that coaches feel that it is now. So barring injury, you know, that's really great to hear because if Florida's offensive line is strong, the rest of the pieces that they have are very good. This offense could put up some points. Interested to see who emerges as that next wide receiver. We know we have Trey Wilson. I was told by a few different people that if they had to pick one person to say they had the most outstanding spring on the roster, it would be Trey Wilson. And that's saying something because there's a lot of players who have garnered a lot of attention from spring practice. But we need to know 
Who is the number two going to be? Who is the number three going to be? I do think there's a great chance Florida looks to the transfer portal in the spring, looking for a couple wide receivers potentially, but we'll keep our eye on that. But I think that would help this offense in completing that step forward. And the defense looked like it has improved as well. I think that uh, Manny Nunnery had that interception against Lagway. He knew exactly where the ball was going to be. And then uh, Sharif Dennison had uh, one against Mertz. The defense looked like it is moving in the right direction. I still want to see more out of the secondary. I think the secondary, while they looked improved, still has a way to go. Um, I thought tackling looked better. I thought just the overall intensity that our defense brought seemed improved. Again, they're playing their own teammates, so it's kind of hard to judge, but everybody seemed so much more into this game than I would have expected. And that means that they probably bring that intensity level to practice every day, which means when we kick off in August, that's the kind of intensity they will bring to the field then too. How you practice is how you play. And I think that's one of the things that has been kind of a question mark in the Napier era. I have heard so many people go to practice and say like, yeah, I mean, it was good. It was good practice, but not a whole lot about the intensity of the practice. We are seeing some serious intensity now, and that should make Gator fans optimistic. Florida has an incredibly different, difficult schedule, right? There is a load of time left. We've got all summer to develop, but what I've seen so far is positive. And then, you know, after the game. Florida Victorious had a really cool event. If you were a member of Florida Victorious or you made a donation on the spot, you could go on the field. The entire team stayed afterwards. Um, I mean, the line was insane. It it went down the stairs right by where my seats were. So I watched all of the hundreds and hundreds of people file onto the field. Florida Victorious told me about 1,400 people stayed afterwards to get autographs. I know that they raised a ton of money. They had a really neat thing going on where um, they had an anonymous donor willing to match up to a half a million dollars of donations raised. Florida Victorious hasn't given anybody that official number yet, but hopefully they got as close as possible right to that 500,000 because then they'd have that match of 500,000 as well. Raising a million dollars the spring game would be incredible. I really think Florida Victorious has Florida headed in the right direction too, which whether you love or hate NIL, it's where we are in this moment. And Florida will need Florida Victorious. They will need a strong NIL program to be able to be competitive moving forward. So it is really great to see Gator fans get behind there because that's what it's going to take to help the Gators win. All in all, Really, really good day. Incredibly impressed with what I saw. Um, the energy in the swamp was huge. Major shout out to Taylor Spirito. He had three catches, 40 yards, and a touchdown. He's a walk-on, guys. And I don't know if you know me personally, you know I feel very strongly about always rewarding and applauding those walk-ons. They are the lifeblood of any successful college program. So that was really personally very cool to see. Whole day, really good. We headed out to the baseball game afterwards where the Gators couldn't pull out a win, but there was a rally going on there for a little while. Really fun atmosphere in Gainesville this past weekend. But listen, all of this stuff is great, and I'm excited to see what happens with the portal, and I'm excited to see what happens this summer. But August, when Florida kicks off against Miami, that is all that matters at this point. Can they get that win against the Hurricanes? I like what I have seen so far. Really excited to see how this development continues into the summer. I do feel like this program has taken steps forward from last year, and that is a huge positive thing that we should all be excited about. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. As always, go Gators.